He's got his sword. Get the deep wood. All right, let's see his talents first. Rapid attacks. He's got normal attacks. Rushes forward, dealing dendro damage to nearby opponents. When the rush ends, causes the chiseled light mirror to form. This function is identical to someone like Kaching. Holding this skill will cause it to behave differently. When you hold it, you get an aiming mode that adjusts the direction. Chiseled Light Mirror. When the skill is unleashed, you will generate one Chiseled Mirror. If there are no mirrors at this time, he'll generate one additional mirror. AKA, if you have no mirrors, you get two stacks. Chiseled Light Mirrors will have the following properties. When possessed with Chiseled Light Mirrors, his normal charge and plunge attacks will be converted to Dendro. He will infuse himself with Dendro damage. This cannot be overridden, me meaning you can use Bennett if you wanted to. Uh, or Shang Yun or something. Uh, when attacks from these, like, normal attacks, infused ones, hit, it will unleash a projection that deals AoE dendro damage based on the number of mirrors. A total of three chiseled mirrors can exist at once. The chiseled mirrors will disappear, uh, one after another over time. Then, they will all disappear when he leaves the field. So you don't want to leave the field, uh, unless you're using them up. Most likely. Uh, your damage is going to scale up, literally doubles every time you get a mirror. Like, it's it's a, it's a one extra uh, tick of that damage. Okay. You get an attack every 1.6 seconds. So kind of like a Raiden Shogun attacking or like Fischl attacking. As you're attacking, it'll just use an attack, um, which is all right. They're removed after four seconds, unless you proc more, chain more. Cool down 18 seconds. Interesting. And this is scaling off your attack and your EM. Quite a bit of scaling from your EM, but also your attack. Okay. Your burst. Creates a binding field that uh, deals multiple instances of AoE. If a chiseled mirror exists, when you use this ability, all mirrors are consumed, increasing the damage uh, instances dealt. Two seconds after the ability is unleashed, if mirrors were consumed... Interesting. If you consume zero mirrors, you generate three. So you could use this to you could use this to instantly stack your mirrors to three. If you wanted to pop it at the start. And then if you had enough energy recharge coming in somehow. It's 70 cost. I doubt you're gonna get it back. Maybe you could. Um mm, interesting. He's got that split scaling again, quite a bit of EM scaling, more attack scaling. So you still need attack on this guy, most likely. Some way, like on the substats, if you can get some attack, it would probably help. When a charged or plunge attack hits, you will generate one chiseled mirror. This effect can be triggered every 12 seconds. So every rotation, you're going to want to do one charged attack. Okay, that's fair. Each point of EM built will increase the damage of your projection attacks and your burst. By 0.1%. If so, if you had a thousand, if you had a thousand EM, you would get a hundred percent damage. Interesting. Okay. Um. So yeah, he's kind of like a kaching. You want to you want to juice up the mirrors, right? Like you'd use this ability. Boom. Now I've got two mirrors. I'd want to do a charge attack and hit to get three mirrors. Ooh, those fall off kind of fast. What? Yeah, but I guess... Ew! Ew! But I guess I guess if I use the charge attack, it's resetting the cooldown? Hold on. If I do both... Four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so yeah. Each four seconds, you're going to lose a mirror. But doing a charge attack is essentially going to reset that. So you use that, one, two, three, charge attack, one, two, three, burst, is most likely the rotation, right? It's gonna be like, one, two, three, charge attack, one, two, three, burst. So that you have the, the, mo the most amount of mirrors for those attacks. Interesting, interesting. 
Wait, someone said... Someone said that um, you need a shield to not lose mirrors? Does taking damage lose mirrors? Oh, no, but getting knocked back and stunned could make you lose your mirrors because you're not going to get your attack in. That is true. You might want to use a shielder with Al Haytham. That is very true. Because if you go to use your charge attack and something bulls you over and you don't get it off, and then you've lost a mirror, that would suck. Yeah, that would suck. Okay. Um, interesting. Let's just, like, dabble for a second here. Like, I've only got one mirror left already. But I could do this, and I can get my mirrors back. So now I've got my... I've got my three mirrors. I'm back up to three mirrors. Here you are. I still got my three mirrors. I know there's going to be an optimal rotation, and I'm just messing around. Huh? I feel like I'm going to be so annoyed with those mirrors j jumping in and going away. I'm going to be very annoyed at that. It's like if Yonfei could you could lose her Scarlet Seals. Yeah. Yeah. So are people looking at this as a main DPS or like a swap? Like a quick swap comp kind of thing like a Tainari? He almost feels more like a Tainari quick swap. You go in, use your ability, attack a little bit, use your charge, burst, get the hell out of there. You know what I'm saying? That's the way I'm viewing it. A little bit. Um, although, those attacks are, are pretty cool. Uh, 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 oh, wait. Hold on! In the footage of Al Haytham, in the footage of Al Haytham when they popped the burst, it looked like he was just standing there, but he's not. So, that means you can pop your burst and still be doing DPS, which is, which is a, a definitely a bonus. That is still a bonus. Interesting. Which means you can also be proccing things like Fischl, like Raiden Shogun, Shincho, while that thing is going off. Interesting. But yeah, he, he, he seems like almost like a quick swap uh, unit. Like, like Tainari, yeah. Definitely. And and you're going to want to make sure you have all three of those, um, those mirrors up. If you're going to be popping that burst, right? Deflect. But, like, see, half those attacks weren't infused because... Ah, yeah, like, like the fall-off, depending, like... Because it's 12 seconds to get the... It's 12 seconds to get the mirror from your charge attack. And this is 18-second cooldown. So there's, a, there's like, a 6-second gap there. Um... But I guess if you use your burst, eh, there's going to be some moments so that you don't have infusion. I really don't like that. I really don't like that at all. I don't know. I I, I honestly, it, you know, it's kind of like child. Like you have to use your rotations properly. Um. Hmm. Interesting. All right, now let me see. Do the constellations completely change that? Are the constellations going to make or break this character and make him way better? When using your projected attacks, univers universality and elaboration on forms, cooldown is decreased by 1.2 seconds. This can affect. This effect can occur every one second. Like his burst? 
Wait. Oh, what? Constellation 1 allows you to use your E ability much more. Decreasing the cooldown by 1.2 seconds. This effect can be triggered every one second. So you would never not have your E ability to refresh the cooldowns. This is a very Constellation Hungry character if you want to uh, just spam the rotation. It's very similar to Child's E. Yeah, if you want to use the E. People are going to argue, well, you could use rotation differently and be a quick swap. Yes, if you want to stay on the field all the time and use people like Raiden, Shogun, or Fischl to like be proccing Electro, damn, that C1 is really strong. Let's see C2, though. When you generate a mirror, EM is boosted by 50 for 8 seconds with a max of 4 stacks. Each stack duration is counted independently. This effect can be triggered even when the maximum number of chiseled mirrors has been reached. What? So you can get 200 more EM built into his kit. And every time you're generating one, even if you're at max, generating means like attempted to generate. So you can get 200 EM very easily because with this, you're going to generate mirrors. With this, you'll always have uptime. So you've got 200 EM. Interesting. That's cracked. More scaling for his E. Uh, when you use your burst, the following effects will become active based on the number of mirrors. Each mirror consumed will increase the EM of all other party members by 30 for 15 seconds. Each dendro or each mirror will grant, grant him 10% dendro damage. So you get, you're going to get 30% more dendro damage. That's pretty crazy. That is really good. And then the EM, you could like swap over to someone, use your, your skills and get some more value out of them. Okay. Wow. More scaling. And then gain the following facts. Two seconds after using, what is that? His two seconds after using his burst, he will generate three mirrors regardless of another, the other mirror or, Oh, so the other one, uh, in this talent here, if you look at this talent here, two seconds after the ability is unleashed, if you have zero mirrors, you get three. If you got one, you get two. If you get two, you get one. If you get three, you got... Right? So you, you can generate mirrors with this, or you consume all the mirrors and you get no damage. You get you, you get no mirrors after. You just get damage. Well, Haytham generates chiseled mirrors when their numbers are already maxed out. His crit rate and crit damage will be increased by 10 and 70% respectively. If this effect is triggered again during this duration, it'll be increased by... Oh my god. So if you have max mirrors and you pop his burst, he'll have three mirrors. What? Wait, wait, wait. You don't even have to pop his burst for the bottom one. You don't even have to pop it for the bottom one. It's just, it's just, it's just constant. Oh my god, that's crazy. Wow, that is so much damage. That is such free damage. Yeah, because you can literally just get... Oh my god, EM in this. I mean, yeah, his constellations are nuts. Everyone's constellations are nuts, but his seem, his seem like really good and enabling. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Some people are going to love him, though. Some people are going to love him. I, I think he, he'll be pretty fun. Um, the question is, should I get him on free-to-play King? This is the new account. I think the answer is... I think the answer is, is yes. Because we need to go for Yao Yao. So I'm going to pull on free-to-play King... My review, you know, before, I think Sean's going to edit this together. My quick and dirty review of Al Haytham is, I don't love the four stars on the banner overall. So if you're a new player, I'm sad about the four stars, okay? Especially with Yelon and Hu Tao coming. My gamble would be to wait for Yelon if you're a brand new player. If you just don't care, you think he's hot, I think he'll function. But he does seem really good with constellations, like C1 will make him a lot more comfortable to play. 
Um, you don't need C1, but it definitely seems like it'd be really comfortable to play. Um, I think that if you had Tainari, though, they would function very similar. Quick swap, Dendro, uh, bursting of damage. Like, almost identical playstyle. Well, one's a bow, one's a sword, but get on the field, do a bunch of Dendro, get off the field, do other stuff, come back. Uh, it's not going to be for everyone. He's kind of like, going to feel like, kind of like playing child, sort of, um, to an extent. But, um, yeah. I'm, I'm whelmed with him. I don't think he's like this amazing thing that's been added to the game and is going to be a game changer. His damage might be crazy. Like, I, I haven't done the math on his EM scaling, and it's... I feel like he might be more stat hungry than other units because of, you know, either needing EM main stats or uh, if you're trying to get like a crit rate helmet or crit damage helmet and then good EM stats as well. You know, I think there's going to be a lot that go into that. Um, EM obviously helps his damage quite a bit. And and you're going to want some EM and he can get some EM um, kind of naturally from the Dendro Resonance and maybe some other characters and the Gilded set. Like there's ways to get quite a bit of EM while focusing on some of the other stats, but he does scale with attack. Like, you need some attack in there to get damage. And then, you know, if you look at the weapon, like this weapon here, crit rate, base attack, crit damage, uh, this is going to give you more damage on your EM. Like, the weapon obviously is going to fit so nicely with him. You get so much value for stacking EM on the character. Um, it just... I, I don't know. I, I, I think that there's going to be other main DPS type units that are going to do just as good, if not better. And like again, if you have Al Haytham, it's going to be like having a Tainari. If you have a Tainari, it's going to be like having him for playstyle, unless you're at C1, um, in my opinion. And, um, you know, Dendro is in a pretty good spot right now. There's Hyper Bloom comps, and maybe that's what you want to do. Think about it this way. Think about it this way. Hypothetically, you could, you know, jump on the field when you've got um, Yelon going or Xingqiu going or Kakomi going or whoever you want to do it. Do a bunch of burst, make a bunch of blooms, and then they're getting procced by a Raiden Shogun or just swapping to another character like Lisa and one banging them and bursting down the damage. Like, I think there's going to be comps that work with him because of that quick swap. It's not necessarily a bad thing. I just kind of assumed he was going to be on the field all the time. And I feel like if you're not C1, then then you'd be dumb to try to stay on the field. There's going to be downtime where you're just doing physical damage and not getting any scaling from your Dendro cup and all that. So, I don't know. I, I think it could work. You could probably do like a version build with him too one day, I'm, I'm sure. But I don't know. I, I'm i not going to wish... Like, I <laughs> on, on Free to Play God, my other account, I wished and I got uh, a Yunjin... And I got a Yao Yao. But I won't be wishing anymore because I don't want him. Now that I've played him, now that I've seen him, I do not want to blow a pity on him uh, with Dia coming. I know I did it for the memes and I, I did a poll and I got a couple characters that I wanted. I'm happy. But now I am I am absolutely like deleting this wish button on my free-to-play God account. I just do, I don't even want to do it. On my other account, I'm going to go for it. But uh, I think it's just going to be fun to use him, even if he's not the best. I don't really care at this point. It's just Genshin Impact. We're, we're memeing around. Anyways, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Al Hatham's not terrible. I don't think he's amazing. I think he's just in the middle of the road kind of can't, you know, character right now. And uh, if the math says, no, he's a god, then cool. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. See you soon. Bye-bye.